What's up, everybody? Robbie here with the Nerd Cave Network, coming to you live from my honeymoon on the beach. Today, me and my lovely wife, Holly, went and saw Black Panther. Now, I will go as far as to say this is one of my favorite, favorite Marvel movies, and favorite superhero movies in general. Um, one thing that really, really jumped out, and there's no spoilers in this, so don't worry. You're not going to get any spoilers here. I keep it nice and clean for you. Now, one thing that jumped out to me at the beginning of this movie was the music. My God, I just loved everything about it. Like, there was just so much culture in the music in itself. Like, you know, you get past all the action and everything like that, and you learn a lot about Black Panther, which I feel like, you know, he's been a part of the Avengers. He's been, you know, countless comics and, you know, cartoons that he's been in. But you actually get to learn a lot about Black Panther, where he come from, the, the history behind Wakanda, everything like that. Uh, so it's super cool to be able to see it, and it was just visually stunning. Uh, just being able to see, uh, you know, the landscape of Africa and how I felt like it was just a very, a, a great mixture of culture. Like you had a little bit of American culture and African culture mixed. Uh, you see that um, in the streets of Wakanda. You see people dressed up. They still are garbed in their traditional uh, African wear, but they have it kind of, I would say, Americanized. I, went, I don't think that's the best word for it. But like you see, it's a more updated version of what it is. They still are very vibrant in color. Uh, this was just, like I said, an all-around just stunning video. I mean, I don't think they could have done a better job with this movie. There was a lot of action, um, and I cannot remember the actor. He plays Watson in the Sherlock show. Uh, he was a he had a pretty decent role in this movie as well. A lot of I feel like comic relief came from him, which you don't normally see. Um, and King T'Challa, the Black Panther. I do not think they could have got a better actor to play T'Challa. Uh, just, you know, seeing he had the chops for it. He knew what the character was. You know, Black Panther, I mean, I, I love it when, when actors and actresses are able to go and learn more about the, the, the differences and the things that make that character unique. And he was able to do that. One thing that I thought was really cool, you see women also take a forefront in this movie as well. They are able, they were, I mean, they were kicking butt right alongside T'Challa. And that was really good to see because, you know, there's been people, you know, you know I felt like a lot of, like even Holly said, a lot of your bigger named, you know, Marvel people have been, you know, look at Tony Stark, Captain America, Thor, Bruce Banner, they're most predominantly white. And to be able to see such a change of pace from that, was just awesome. And I think they did a really good job with it. Uh, I can say that I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Um, and I highly recommend that people go and watch it. But if not for the one fight scene, you have the, I cannot remember what they are, but they're the, the women warriors of T'Challa's tribe. And the protagonist of the movie, uh, def, you know, comes in and they're fighting. And you see, you know, like three or four of them are fighting him, and it's just a super, like, action-packed scene. And, like, oh my god, I still can't wrap my head around everything that's happened in this movie. And you guys have got to go and watch it. Like, probably one of the best Marvel movies I've seen. Um, I, I think I actually enjoyed it more than Thor Ragnarok. And if you know me, that is high praise. Uh, as you can even tell, I'm wearing a Thor shirt, and I love Black Panther. I loved everything Black Panther represents, uh, and I think that Marvel and you know Disney Studios knocked it out of the park with this. If you would, please comment down below what you really thought of the movie. Um, from here on out, I'm going to do just a little bit of spoilers. So if you haven't seen the movie and you don't want to have anything spoiled, I would stop here. I got all the non-spoiler stuff out of the way. So here's a little clip of what I thought was really awesome. Okay, lowdown. Once again, 
This is spoiler territory. The fight between T'Challa and cannot remember the dude's name, the protagonist, the bad guy in the movie. Well, he dethrones T'Challa, throws him off a cliff. What's really cool, and I, I, I called it in the movie, I was like, that fifth tribe, the outcast tribe in the mountains, were going to have T'Challa, and they did. And to see, you know, T'Challa is like, I can't, I can't change what past kings done, but I can change what I'm going to do. So they kind of bring in that fifth tribe, and what really pisses me off is T'Challa's homie, his friend, going all dark side and joining with the the, the antagonist of the movie. That man, he, he takes me off. He lost all respect. But he did have a redeeming redeeming point when he's fighting the general, the lady, the, I mean, the, the butt-kicking warrior lady. And she was, he's like, would you really kill me? Your love. And she was like, for Wakanda? No question. And I, that hit hard. And he was getting ready to fight her, and then he dropped his sword. I thought that was like a love conquers all type thing, and it worked really well. But back to the fight. Seeing him, what was his name? Um, it was Kill Something. Uh, Killmonger. When he when he just showed like his arm earlier in the movie, and you saw the, it's like this is for all the kills, all of my confirmed kills. And you're like, oh wow, he's got a he's got a nice little tattoo. He takes his shirt off, and you just see him all over his body. Like I said, this was the, one of the greatest movies that I've seen in a while. I loved it. I liked it better than Thor Ragnarok. It's it's right up there as one of my favorite. I'd put it up there with Civil War. I really, really liked Civil War. And I think Black Panther was right up there. I think it was a great movie. I think you really, really have to go out and watch this and enjoy it for what it is. Like I said earlier, guys, please tell me what you thought about this movie in the comments below. Also, like it. Like it while you're at it. Share it. Uh, kind of let everybody know what they're going to be looking at when they come and see Black Panther. And guys, thank you for tuning in to everything we do here at the Nerd Cave. Zach, he does a great job with uh, Nerd Cave Plus. It airs on Tuesday and Thursdays. Uh, where he talk, we talk about gaming and then we go into a live stream right after it. Zach is the constant variable in that. And me and Allie, we switch out. But guys, once again, thank you for watching and thank you for all your support with the Nerd Cave. Like I said, coming here from beautiful Pensacola Beach on its honeymoon, this has been Robbie. Have a week.